hello students and viewers today i am going to talk about your chapter number 3 that is seed sampling so i have divided this chapter into a three parts part 1 part 2 and part 3 so in a part 1 i am going to discuss only seed sampling so there are uh, three points under this chapter that is seed sampling seed storage and uh, um, methods of uh, or the chemicals that are used uh, for storing these seeds so these are the three points that are covered under this chapter number 3 so let's begin with seed sampling so what is seed sampling right so seed sampling is nothing but what suppose you have a very large quantity of seed and then you have to sample a particular or a little amount of seed from that large quantity right so the seed which is taken from the large quantity of a seed is known as a sample which is taken from a large quantity right a small quantity which is taken out from large quantity that small quantity is known as what sample right and the sampling or the testing is done for that particular or the little amount of seed is known as seed sampling right so this is seed sampling now so why this seed sampling is done so you have to we have to learn this uh, seed sampling in detail now suppose you have let me take pain suppose you have 10000 kg of lot seed lot right and suppose you are sampling only 1 gram from from 10000 kg right so your ratio will be 1 as to 1 crore see here your ratio will be 1 as to 1 crore right so this is the ratio that you have analyzed or you have sampled from 10000 kg of seed lot right now so why this seed sampling is done what is the main purpose so we have to obtain this accurate result see we have to obtain the uniform and accurate result of that particular seed testing right and for that purpose we are doing seed sampling now what are the rule or who based or who decided this rule of seed sampling right so ista ista it is decided the rules of this seed sampling so ista is nothing but what international seed testing association so that is nothing but ista international seed testing association so according to the rules of international seed testing association you have to perform or you have to do the seed sampling right next now so we have different kind of seed sampling certifications right so we have again various national certificates which are exists but according to this ista these are the important these three are the important seed certificates so here see orange seed lot then green seed lot certificate and then blue seed lot certificates so according to ista these three uh, important seed lot certificates are there so we will see one by one now see certificates first orange seed lot certificate so here this certificate it is issued when the sampling done according to the rules of ista right so international seed testing association right so according to this if uh, your sampling is done then this certificate certificate is issued which colored orange colored a uh, seed certificate is issued right and this is again done by the official body see this is done by whom this is the 
issuing of orange seed lot certificate is done by whom official body which is again approved by this ista right so here see let me change the color of my pen see the next important point of this uh, orange seed lot sampling and certification see this is a very very important point sampling and seed certification must be carried out in a same country right sampling means what suppose small quantity of seed you are taking from a huge or uh, for example take 10000 kg of seed lot you are having and 1 gram of sampling you are doing okay so sampling and this issuing of this orange seed lot certificate that certification and sampling should be done in a same country so this is the factor or the important point of this orange seed lot certificate right now come towards green seed lot certificate now see so these are the same requirement as like the orange same requirement above but the testing carried out by an authorized station in a country other than where seed lot was sampled means what same 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 things means what same in a same country you have to do sampling and certification in case of green seed lot again but the condition is different condition is what means you have to sampled your seed in a one place and then you have to take certification in another place but within same country so that is your green seed lot certification right come to the third point that is blue seed sample certificate right so this is only refer to the sample see this is going to refer only to the sample here see here we have used the word lot okay lot in case of orange and lot in case of green okay lot is nothing but what here it is bigger number or you have large quantity of seeds with you right and you are doing the certification of that particular lot getting but here in case of blue seed okay what you are going to do you are going to sample or you are going to issue the certificate of only the sample sample is nothing but what small or the little amount of seeds getting so here orange and green related to the lots please do remember and blue seed certificate is related to sample okay little sample so this certificate is used with unofficial sampling see these two first two they are related to official because why it is official because here see i have what i have mentioned in the first official body should be there to issue the certificate of orange seed and green seed lot certificate right but in case of blue seed certification here an official body is there right so when the seed station is not certain that sample represent the seed lot yes okay means the particular sample which is to be tested under this blue seed sample certification that is not going to represent the seed lot okay so this station is not certain it's not assuring that the particular sample is going to represent seed lot so the certificate only refers to the quality of the sample received and omits the name of the sampling see it's going to omit it is going to omit the name of the sampling and sealing agency as well as the lots mark and seal okay so all these four things name is name will not be there sealing agency name will not be there then seed lot mark should not be there and sealing is also not be there right in case of blue seed sample certification come to the next now types of sample now see types of sample here let me change again lot so lot is nothing but what a specified quantity of a seed physically 
identifiable for which an international analysis certificate may be issued right now primary sample see primary sample small portion which is taken from one location in the lot so that is your primary sample now composite composite nothing but what multiple right so composite nothing but a mixture of the primary sample we called it as composite sample now submitted sample again the sample submitted to the testing station we called it as what submitted sample and it is again comprising the composite sample reduced as necessary right so from this composite again uh, whatever the amount which submitted to the testing laboratory that is called as submitted sample now again the little amount which is taken out from this submitted sample that is your working sample right and the sealed sample is nothing but what a sealed container for both lots and sample is one that is closed in such a way that it cannot be opened see obviously it's many this name itself indicates it should be sealed it should not be opened and closed again without either destroying the seal or leaving evidences of tampering okay tampering means uh, you, you can't take out the seeds from any place or any uh, part of that seal right so that is tampering now principle and procedure of sampling the lot now what is the main principle behind it and what is the procedure of it so first see what its heterogeneity it should not show any kind of heterogeneous uh, genity it all the seeds they must be a homogeneous in condition right so that is your <coughs> sorry first criteria for uh, this sampling the seed lot now size see again second part is about size first what we discussed it should not be heterogeneity if heterogeneity should be there heterogeneous condition should be found in case of the seeds then the sampling should not be done right so this is the criteria for the uh, doing the sampling of particular lot second is size now see for agricultural seeds the lot must not exceed 10000 kg see agricultural seeds are there for example you can take rice you can take um, uh, this thing bajra jowar rai right so all these agricultural seeds that lot must not exceed 10000 kg but yes it's also given that large seeded species 20000 kg is allowed right in case of maize see maize is large seeded and hence 40000 kg is allowed see so according to the small seeded 10000 kg is allowed if large seeded are there for example take example of uh, uh, large seeded take in any example uh, for example arachis hypogea that is nothing but groundnut so 20000 is also allowed and in case of maize maize see it's bigger seeded so 40000 kg is allowed here for sampling now so another sampling requirements also there the lot must be sealed see so whatever the sampling you want to do your bag should be sealed right or sealable bags or other container that are labeled or marked for identification with single lot designation so international seed lot certificate cannot be issued for seed that is loose see this very important point so if the seed pack is loose if it is found in loose condition or if it is stored in unsealable container then these seed lot certification cannot be issued right so these are the main points you have to remember the first is homogeneity second is in case of size and third one is uh, sealing condition third point next instrument and equipments for sampling now so here is stick or sleeve type dryer so now see here in case of this you can see what is this stick or sleeve type dryer stick stick everyone knows stick right so here you have hollow brass tube inside a closely fitting outer shell or sleeve let me change the color 
so that you will get so suppose this is your outer shell suppose this is your outer shell i will draw something bigger so that you will get it so this is your outer shell i will write o only for this outer and this is outer shell right and then you have this inner okay inner hollow brass tube let me change again color in the outer shell you have this inner hollow brass tube right now this shell and hollow brass tube they has this pointed end right they has pointed end it, it is mentioned see it is having pointed end right and the slots now now here you can see it is again has suppose it uh, this hollow brass tube has this slot here slot is nothing but what opening right and this outer shell is also has this slot means you have to match the slot of this brass tube with the slot of outer shell okay what is the purpose why we are matching this slots okay so in order to have the seeds inside this tire right so this you can see the slots in the tube and the sleeve walls are aligned or matched right so seeds can flow into the tube cavity now half turn of the tube closes the opening right so half tube it will obviously supp suppose you uh, just move this hollow brass tube within this outer shell it, it is going to close right so tubes are designed for different kinds of seeds and various container sizes right so if you have different kind of seeds for take example of rice is in uh, in one hand you have, you have the rice and in a, another hand you will have these uh, maize seeds right so according to the seeds these again uh, these sleeve type tire they are designed and suppose it is again container size are smaller bigger biggest right so according to that again you, this the length of this sleeve type tire it is again designed so this is again it's vary in length and diameter according to the a uh, type of seed in which the sampling is done and the container in which it it is it is been kept so according to that it is uh, changed the structure of this tire is changed so in a sampling in case of cereal cereals are nothing but what any rye oat barley jowar rice so these all these are coming under cereal right so in this uh, sampling of cereal seeds plus 76 mm tire okay length of their tire is 70 uh, 760 mm whereas the diameter is 25 mm and with six slots see such a slots should be six slots for this particularly this cereal seeds right next you can see here stick and sleeve type i have uh, given here images you can count this is the number 1 this is 2 3 4 5 okay so according to the length and the particular uh, where the sampling is done so according to that this slot is um, this uh, done and uh, this length again see as i have discussed you can see this length of the tire as well as this uh, width of that particular uh, hollow brass tube right so a tip is again 2.5 uh, cm so according to that various kinds of seeds and the container this uh, stick and sleeve type tire it is been designed so particular please do remember in case of cereal seeds five slots with each 4.5 uh, cm in length are there 
and the diameter of tube is 1 cm and sleeve diameter is 1.2 cm so likewise this stick or sleeve type triers are made now next instrument is deep bean sampler now again see suppose you have the bigger bin with you and in which the seeds are kept so how you are going to take out the sample from it so this is the sample this is the bean sampler from no, with the help of which you are going to uh, take out the sample from that bean right so the sampling of seed lot from the bean is done by the bean sampler and hence the name is given right so the seed which is present in a bin and uh, the instrument which take out the sample from it it is named as what bean sampler hmm. so it is ranging up to 1600 mm in length and 38 mm in diameter so it has 6 to 9 slots see previous in case of stick or sleeve type trier what we have seen <coughs> sorry five slots uh, should be there in case of this bean sampler see six or nine slots okay why these slots are more over here right so see why the slots are more because your sample now present where your sample is present in a bin right so you are uh, you must have the seeds in that sampler right so for that purpose 6 to 9 or 6 up to 9 slots uh, uh, are present in a deep bin sampler so trier may be used horizontally or vertically see so according to uh, that you can use this horizontal or in a vertical direction hmm. so trier for vertical use must have partitions dividing into compartments or the seeds will drop into the sampler from the top layers when the trier is opened giving excess seed from these layers right so the compartment should be uh, there particularly present in this deep bin sampler so that suppose you are inserting this deep bin sampler in a uh, bin in a vertical direction then seed should be come in within this sampler right so when you, this stick sampler were using vertically some dragging of seeds from the top towards the bottom is unavoidable yes so being we are uh, doing this sampling from vertical vertically we are means we we cannot uh, this avoid this seeds which are coming into this deep bin sample hmm? but this can be reduced with a tyer that is smooth and has few ribs as possible so here inside to that rib should be there so that we can avoid the extra seeds which are coming in to this deep bean sampler now the next third equipment is knob trier so i have mentioned here see knob trier the structure and the length of this knob trier is again varying these are the very lengthy one and these are smaller knob triers are there right so knob trier it is suitable only for sampling bags okay previous one what we have seen previous it is used only the seeds which are containing in a bin now this knob trier it is the uh, suitable only for bags sealing bags right so for that knob trier is used so it is pointed tube long enough to reach to the center of the bag see this is very pointed you can see this is the point of this knob trier so that it can be enter into the bag as well as it it should reach to the center of the seed so it has this is the oval hole this is what oval hole which is present at the pointed end right so for cereals the distance from the hole from this to this this is your handle right so this distance should be 350 mm this is this distance should be 350 mm right and the diameter of the tube should be about 14 mm so this diameter right 
so this diameter should be this 14 mm so for more polished the inner surface of the tire the more freely seeds will flow so according to the uh, inner area which is polished or unpolished so according to that the seeds will flow inside to this no tire now principles and procedure for laboratory sampling so here see there are different kinds of uh, procedures and methods are there let's begin with it so first method is mechanical divider method so uh, see here for this mechanical divider method we are not uh, using any manpower or any uh, human beings right so here we are using the machines right and for that uh, method it is uh, named as what mechanical divider method right so the, here three machines are used under this mechanical divider method so which are those so first one is conical divider second is soil divider and third one is centrifugal divider so three this conical that is also named as boner div type soil divider it is also known as rifle type and the centrifugal divider it is known as gynet type so here three these divider three these machines are there combinedly we call them as mechanical divider machines so all the purpose of this see all these three types what is the purpose it is going to uh, divide the seed into two approximately equal portions so that is the main purpose of these three machines right so you have suppose 1 kg of the seeds then these three machines will divide these 1 kg in a equally equal portions okay half half so 500 gram and 500 gram will be divided exactly in okay, equal portions so small uh, sample can be mixed by passing it through the divider recombining the two portions and passing the whole sample through second or even third time if necessary now see the sample is reduced i will show you these images in my further slide sample is reduced by passing the seed through repeatedly and removing half on each run right so this this, this is very important okay I means suppose one gram kilogram is uh, with you and it is going to divide you in 500 500 gram then 500 gram should be kept aside and you have to use 500 gram for next step right so likewise in each step you have to remove that half portion so this process of successive halving successive halving means every time you are removing half the portion of the seeds so that is nothing but what halving so is it is continued to obtain a working sample approximately but not less than required size right so up to the required size you have to do you have to repeat these steps so let's see these three machines so here see this is the soil divider or it is also known as rifle divider here you can see here this is one and this is two right so exactly you are pouring your seeds here and it is going to divide into these two parts right again here see in case of conical divider you can see here one and this is two right means whatever the seed which is poured over here that is going to divide into these two equal portions right now here in case is centrifugal divider again you are pouring the seeds and that is equally equally it is going to distribute within these two containers right and here in this next rotary divider you can see it is again exactly a similar quantity of the seeds they are going to distribute in each of these containers right so here it is the mechanical methods now see next is modified halving method hmm? so here you can see why the name is given modified halving method here again halving half the portion is going to take out but half now see 
so you have now this is what tray okay in uh, every one of us we are having this uh, ice tray at our home okay in a fridge right so same kind of tray is here just for our convenience for you people convenience i have kept the image of this tray right so that you will get the exact idea of this modified halving method so here you can see you have the tray which is fitted with equal sized cubicle cells here you can see the cubicle cell number 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 okay so likewise all these cubicle cells they are equally sized okay none of the cell is dissimilar right or larger or bigger so all the cells all the cubicle cells they are equal in size so which are open at the top okay so every cubicle cell you can see is open and it's closed at the bottom right so now here see the main uh, this modified halving method tray how it is every second cell now see has open bottom suppose we consider from here this is second this is fourth this is sixth so two fourth and sixth numbered cell cubicle cell has what open bottom this is very important part of this modified halving method right so every second cell means cell number second cell number fourth and cell number sixth it has open bottom right so after preliminary mixing the seed is poured evenly over the grid so which is lifted to leave approximately half of the sample on the tray right so this process is repeated to obtain a working sample of approximately but not less than the required size so means suppose till you are getting the required sample you have to do this procedure you have to take out the Mm, seeds which are uh, seeds from that cubicle cells which has the open bottom so from that part you have to take the seeds and you have to consider that seed as a uh, sample seeds now you can uh, just have a look on this right so modified halving method how this uh, cubicle cells left uh, left the seeds behind right after this pouring the seeds onto that tray now random cup method so this is again very uh, easy method i can say for you people this very very easy so in this see again uh, you have a tray suppose you have this a uh, tray and this 6 to 8 small cups they are placed over here right so these are the small small cups which are placed over here and now you have to pour the seeds you have to pour the seeds uniformly onto that tray okay you are you are not uh, going to look where is where cup is placed right okay so uniformly you have to pour the seeds right from the uh, left side towards the your right right side of that tray okay and the seeds which are going to fall into the cup that is your a working sample so you might found this type uh, of method is uh, funny right but yes this is again the standard uh, one of the met method which is uh, mentioned by ista right so the the cup which has the seeds in it that should be considered as a working sample right so if you uh, have the minimum weight of the seeds obtained through this method then you can increase the number of cup in this tray right so you can uh, you, here you can see seventh or eighth cup can be added if the working sample is very very little or reduced in number now see spoon method again so here see this method requiring a tray again you have you must have the tray with you then you have this spatula and a spoon so what is the difference between spatula and spoon 
here you can see spatula means what it has the long this base and the tip is like this right so this is your spatula and spoon everyone knows so spoon is like this right spoon right so uh, with a straight front edge so here you can see this is the front edge is a straight and is permitted only for small seeded species and never for seed mixtures this so this is very important small seeded species because see our part is this portion is this portion this okay you can just look at this portion okay one end of this spatula and this is the end of this spoon okay so these are very smaller portions okay in which we are going to have these seeds for uh, which should be considered as a working sample right so this should be used for what small seeded species okay very very small seeded for that species this spatula and spoon method is used so after preliminary mixing the seed is poured evenly over the tray so which is must not be shaken afterwards okay means what you have the tray here and you have to kept these spatula right and spoon here in this seat uh, in this uh, tray right and then you have to pour the seeds on this tray so and what what the care you have to take you have to you have not to shake this tray while uh, or after the pouring the seeds right those spoon in one hand the spatula in other hand are used together to remove small portions of the seed from not less than random five random places so you have to pour the seeds over this tray right and then you have with the help of this uh, straight front edge of this spoon and spatula you have to remove the seeds from five random places and that seeds should be considered as working samples now here is you can see i have mentioned the images over here so this is the part uh, spatula and uh, which is been used to remove the seeds from the particular tray now see combine divider spoon method okay so divider that is mechanical divider that i have mentioned in a first and this is the spoon method that is your method number 4 so this is the fifth numbered method that is combination of mechanical divider method and the combination of spoon method okay so this is the rapid reduction in the size allowed by the mechanical divider and the accuracy of the spoon method so this method allows laboratory efficiently sample a large variety of species okay so efficiently you can do the sampling of the large variety of species for that purpose this combined divider spoon method is used so that's how i have discussed these methods and the different kind of uh, equipments that is used to do the sampling of the seeds right so thank you very much for listening this video